Elam Aram Kareem, Elam Aram Kareem. Thank you, sir. I rise to oppose the Cordon Wage Bill 2019. Sir, today, the working people of our country are conducting countrywide demonstration and agitation against this bill as per the call of national trade unions. On the same day, the bill is coming to consider in this house and uh, uh, it is moved by my friend and most respected labor minister who is a popular leader and also very soft in nature. I am very sorry, sir. This is an action of challenging the working people of this country. This bill, in, bill is an exercise of deception and betrayal engineered on the working people of the country who are actually creating GDP, while most of others are enjoying a free lunch on the valley created them, by them. Sir, I oppose this bill, which totally ignored the unanimous recommendation of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Labour, on the identically some piece of bill which submitted its report before the Parliament in second half of 2018. I oppose this bill, this bill because in the name of submitting into it for weight or bonus related bills, it has most selectively incorporated some of the provisions from that bill while diluting or removing others focusing on the discretionary advantages of the employers class and their suburban government thereby betraying workers in the trampling labor rights. Sir, it nakedly reflected the ugly obsession of the government only for ease of doing business at the cost of the labor and labor rights. The bill ignored most undemocratically the unanimous recommendations of and its direction of successively Indian labor conferences of 15th, 44th, 45th, and last 46th in 2015 and related Supreme Court judgment in 1992 on concrete formula of fixation of minimum wage and the benchmark level to ensure human survival of workers. The successive governments at the center and states, including your government, were a party to such unanimous recommendations. But even then, the government refused to incorporate the same in the bill, despite recommendations of the Standing Committee to act in tandem to such unanimous recommendation of ILCs, thereby making the minimum wages fixation an arbitrary exercise by bureaucracy alone at the dictate of the government, I am sorry, at the dictate of the corporate big business lobby. The recommendation of the tripartite minimum wage advisory board, both, both at a center and state are not made mandatory in this regard. Whether the government is willing to accept it, they can accept or reject. Thereby undermining the basic operational concept of the tripartism and mocking it down as its slogan, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vigas. Sir, this is corporate ka saath, our sabon ka binash. In this background, all tasks of providing a floor level national minimum wage in the bill has become absolute hawks. And the deceptive intention of the government comes to light when the labor ministry appointed an expert committee to make an exercise deliberately tampering the ILC recommendation for formulating minimum wages. Irony is that the government of the day under the dictate of corporate could not even accept the arbitrarily suppressed minimum wage figures arrived at the their own expert committee and the cat has come out the back when our respected minister in a press conference held on 10th July announced that the, the minimum wages will be rupees 170 per day as four level minimum wages which much less than the statutory minimum wage prevalent at least at 31 locations of the country, including union territories. The balloon of much for total magnanimity of the government towards workers' stands exploded, and real intention of suppressing wages come to light with all its fangs and claws. So despite concrete recommendations of the Standing Committee on Labor to remove the ambiguity, in the definition of employees and workers in the bill, its usage in the operative part of the bill 
it was ignored in order to allow the employers a free hand to take advantage of this ambiguity and harass the workers, particularly those covered under Sales Promotion Employees Act and Working Journalists Act and some other acts also. The bill with a diabolic intention to curb the rights of the labor has continued to empower the employers to deduct Minute, eight four. days wage for one day strike by the workers, which is condemnable. Who decides, sir, it is illegal strike? Which employer allows, uh, admits, uh, admits, sir, that is illegal strike? The strike is the, in, in the right of the worker. He has to do, uh, he has the right to do work. He has to, the, the right to uh, the strike the work. Lastly, the lifeline of any act is enforcement mechanism and related provisions. This bill, while changing the designation of inspector, yes, an inspector come facilitator. Whom do they facilitate, sir? And restraining their regular and routine mandatory duties for regular inspection to verify complaints of act by employers and allowing inspection only with prior permission of for the highest I'm level calling of the appropriate other government other and government. Sir, virtually banned on crippled the system of inspection itself Conclude. thereby Conclude. giving a complete go by no strong enforcement of the act itself again Manoj governed Manoj by their option Abole. and Abole. ease of doing business Manoj. sir Manoj. I Manoj. know more the concrete amendments will be and it is exercise of